Don't forget, if you're an Ethics Club member, you can donate your flying hours to Models for Heroes. So finally, we are going to do an inbox review of the Austin K2Y ambulance in 135th from Gecko Models. Um, now, obviously, you've seen the Airfix review, and we're going to do a bit of a comparison as we go through this as well. But it is mainly about this. Um, a lot of chatter in the community about the differences, so we're going to have a quick look about that. But this is the box, uh, lovely box art. Um, on the side here we have got uh, some bits and pieces as to what's in the kit. So we've got some photo etch, we've got some decals and we've got a figure. There's a female ATS worker. Um, on the other side of the box, he says, turning the box around, we have got uh, some CAD, CAD work as it will look and a couple of options here for what you might want to paint up as it is. So first of all you'll notice it's quite difficult to get the lid off because it's a box within a box. Very nice packaging. Opens up into all its glory and there is what you will expect to find in your kit. So we're going to go through these bit by bit but first of all But the first thing you notice is the instructions are slightly different um, in that it is quite a thick book and the instructions are quick flip through are using the CAD drawings as your instructions which is pretty cool so we'll go through that in a minute but let me just quickly show you the difference between the two so this is the airfix instructions of which there are he says 19 steps within the instructions and wait for it 62 steps in the gecko models instructions so you already can tell by what you've seen in the box and the instructions itself that they're going to be quite quite vastly different so let's crack on have a quick look through these instructions so as you can already tell an awful lot more steps in the gecko model kit to the uh, airfix so that does tell you there are a lot more parts so just to let you know that in the in this particular kit there is well over 450 parts in the airfix kit uh, there is 140 something parts so quite a big difference but let's have a look at the instructions so first of all here you've got some blurb uh, in different languages about the kit uh, a bit of history about the ambulance and I'm going to hold that up. So if you want to freeze that and read it, you're more than welcome. But we're going to crack on. So straight over into our instructions. Uh, we've got uh, some instructions as what you're going to need. You're going to need some cement, some um, super glue, some cutters, some tweezers, all the usual sort of stuff and a pin vise. So you've got to do a bit of drilling. Um, and then obviously you've got your layout of your sprues. Now really important when you get your kit, please make sure that all the sprues are present um, and none are missing. Hopefully anyone that's selling this will send it out um, with a pre-check already done, but just to double check before you start because it's quite annoying. Um, one thing I found was when I was going through the box, I couldn't find the hose, but the hose is there. It's in amongst the decals and photo etch, but it's, it's really quite thin. Anyway, let's move on. So going into the instructions themselves, and we're starting with, obviously, the base of, of what we're going to need for our ambulance. I really like the way this is all done. Using the CAD drawings makes it really, really clear. Can't make any mistakes. And we carry on going through. We're onto the wheels. And a differential and engine detail, etc. Lots going on there with the engine detail. And then we're on to fitting the engine to our chassis, drive shafts, exhaust, all that sort of stuff. So obviously take note of the warnings as you go along. Don't want to make any mistakes. And as I say, we just carry on through the instructions, adding the bits to our chassis, etc. 
So we're already on to section 17 where we're adding some PE. So the PE, there's a bit of PE that goes on to our steps at the back. Uh, and that's all explained quite nice and clearly. And then obviously you've got our main uh, engine grill. Now, a big difference between this and the Airfix kit is that the PE is the bit that does the radiator um, grill part. So that's pretty cool. Uh, obviously increase your, your count parts, um, but yeah, great detail there. Um, and remember you've got these little bits here that hold in your radiator into the, the, the front here. So carrying on. So we're adding that and a few other bits and pieces to our chassis. And now we're starting to look at the cab as well. So again, you can see here the difference in the cab is we've got some PE on the foot pedals um, and other bits and pieces going on here, which is not in the Airfix kit, obviously. Um, and we'll, I'll do a comparison of the PE with you in a minute. So yeah, carrying on through, and then we're fitting the, starting to fit the cab base onto our uh, KT. Lots going on here. That's going to look really, really quite special um, if you open it up, which there is the, the ability to do that. Um, oh, sorry, just noticed there, you've got some decals, remember, on here. So yeah, lots going on. It's really split down really nicely, the instructions. It's really simple steps. Um, may explain why there are so many steps because it really is really coming down into the detail. But I, li I like the way it's set out, it's really cool. So then obviously we're gonna do some uh, petrol cans and some other bits and pieces. And we get to the point where the front of our, our ambulance is coming together. And then we're into our stretchers and other bits and pieces, our water containers. Obviously the container there for, to put the, the watering cans in is PE, so that's a little bit of folding to be done. Some bits and pieces going on here on the mud guards, etc. So really, really detailed, really, really nice, excellent steps in the instructions. Then we're coming into the, making some choices now into the, the doors. So this is the internal door between the cab and the rear of the ambulance. You can have the position open or you can have it shut. Um, yeah, lots going on there. So lots of decisions to make as you go along. Obviously putting that into or onto our chassis. So making more of the cab up. Spare wheel. One thing I noticed is that the hub has got um, the hub of the wheel um, has actually got part of the wheel attached to it as well. So that's all got a um, nice bit of writing on there, so I bring that out. You're putting your rails in for the back of the ambulance, etc. Adding your bits in so you can get your stretchers in and you're starting to make the roof now, putting that all together. So again, here there are options, so just remember that. You might want to put four lots or you might want to put two lots in. So read through the instructions, lots going on to remember. So a good read of the instructions before you start is always a good thing, especially in this particular case, because obviously you've got your options. A nice little detail on this is obviously the stretcher as well has got your blanket and um, the pillow part separately. So you can have a bit of play around with that if you want to. Also uh, some additions of some weapons as well. I noticed in this kit before we go further. So lots more detail. And there we go. So this is the difference between the options. So you can have the options where you've got just the, the two here or uh, the option here where you've got your four. Um, so a little bit of figuring out to go on there, um, but yeah, pretty easy to sort out nevertheless. Um, and then you'll put the roof on. Obviously the roof's gone onto the back cab um, we're doing some finer detail to the front and then we're starting to put the, the windscreen together uh, the roof to the cab as well and it's all clearly explained exactly what you can do so you can have the sides um, which is a canvas side rolled up or you can have it so it's stretched out not sure why you would want to have it stretched out, but maybe one, you know, one one side, one the other, maybe, I don't know. 
be, be your choice. Um, and obviously you've got the window here, you've got the choice of open or closed. Um, this is the open position, this is the closed position, that's quite a nice little detail, I like that. And then you've got the, the final parts as we're coming to the end here where you put the doors on, are you going to shut the doors, keep, the, keep that all hidden, or are you going to keep the doors open? It's a no-brainer, right? With all that detail you spent time doing, you're going to have them open in some form. And then that's it. That is it. That's the last bit just there. 62 different sections to go through. Like I said, there are some, some call-outs for colours. You've got the territorial service here, um, which is at Campbell in Surrey. Giving you an idea of how you want all the decals, etc. put on. And then, of course, you've got the Katie uh, movie, the, the version from uh, Ice Cold in Alex, which, let's face it, a lot of people are going to do that. So the, the colour calls-outs are for Mission Models paints. Uh, they're all explained there. You can, if you haven't got Mission Models, not a problem. You can obviously convert those on a conversion table on the internet really easily. So there we go. That is the first part. The instructions, as you can see, massively different. So here is the photo etch for the Gecko version. A lot going on there, lots and lots of pieces. As we've gone through the instructions, you would have seen just exactly what that all entails. Quite a lot of detail, etc. And then let's compare that to the Airfix. Yeah, quite a lot of difference, right? So here are the decals for our Gecko model. Um, very nice, again, um, no carrier film around the edges of these round um, decals um, and all the other decals as well as you can possibly see if i can get the light to, to just shimmer over that um, next to no carrier film around it so really really nice so yeah this is the airfix decals uh, a little few more options going on there uh, a little bit more bits and pieces whereas the the gecko ones are focused on the two versions in which they've got in the kit but I'm sure without a shadow of a doubt there will be lots of aftermarket decals going around for this because there are just so many different things you can do with it. But similar in the fact that the carrier there are but you know there's no carrier film as such on either of them. Um, pretty good, I think. So we're gonna have a look at the wheels next. As you can see, there is a big difference in the way in which it's set. This is the Airfix kit. Um, and they are literally a two-piece uh, glued together and you're done sort of job. Um, I don't think the details any anything but fine with that on the Airfix. But obviously you're then into a different ball game with the Gecko. So Gecko have chosen to do the, the wheel in three parts. Uh, so you've got the outer part of your rubber tyre, which means you've got no join here on the tread, which is really, really cool. I like that idea. And then you've got your bits here, which make up the rest of the wheel. So your hub, the bit in the middle, is already glued in, already set in, and the wall of the tyre is there. So interesting way of doing it. Um, I think that's pretty good, actually, I've got to be honest. It'd be interesting to see how that goes together, and I don't have any issue with that at all. I think it's more than likely than that, which is fit absolutely sublimely. But an interesting way of doing it. Not something I've seen before, but... Uh, maybe I've just been unlucky to find it that way. But yeah, they're the wheels from Gecko. Um, I think the the tread side of things is um, is a little bit better on the Gecko, personally. Um, and I like this particular way of doing it. Uh, and one thing we noted as well is we have some surface detail on the rims of, oh sorry, the walls of our tyres. Let's see if I can bring it right in. Um, we'll make sure they do that on a picture. So the, the walls of our tyres here have got the, the actual writing on the, the, the walls of the tyres. So there's a little bit you can pick, a bit more decal, detail you can pick out on your wheels, which I think is a really good touch. Um, and unfortunately, it's been missed by Airfix. But, you know, there we go. So this is Sprue A. What we've got here, we've got the floor panel here for our ambulance and some roofing sections. 
Um, really good to see the fact that they've split the roof up. You've got some surface difference there, um, quite rough, and on here, uh, smooth on the side. So that will be picked up really, really well on your painting. And obviously this section here goes into our other section, so don't have to worry about any pin marks or anything because they'll all be hidden in there anyway. So lots of concentration there as to how it's going to look. The sprue itself, really clean, no flash or anything like that. You know, I wouldn't expect there to be. Um, and some nice surface detail there for some panelling with some recessed lines uh, that you can pick up. That will obviously be part of the cab area. Nice, that's sprue A. So this is sprue AB. Uh, and this has obviously got the, the walls of our ambulance, um, the internal door, and some other bits and pieces. But again, you'll notice nice rough texture on the sides here um, that will come out really really well um, and you will be able to definitely make see the difference uh, when you do your weathering and all that sort of stuff so again nice and clean um, sprue no flash or anything like that no obvious issues or problems a couple of injection pins that uh, pin marks in which i think will be hidden anyway by your stretchers um, so nothing jumping out of me that's going to cause any issues or problems uh, and again here you've got your folded up canvas that goes onto the the cab itself so that was sprue ab so next on the list is sprue b which has got all the internal parts of our cab area um, lots and lots of bits and pieces going on here um, it's part of the engine mounting as you can see here one really good thing I really like I've just noticed and really love the look of that is uh, the hinge effect on our bonnet um, they've even taken the time and trouble to, to make sure that's represented properly so if you do have one side of the bonnet open that hinge area is going to look absolutely fantastic so well done well done indeed gecko um, and as I was saying the front nose of our Austin the Austin emblem is really nice and pronounced um, that will picked up very, very nicely. And again, our radiator cover um, will be in PE. So that will look quite stunning. And just to show you, just to show you the difference between the Airfix and the Gecko, as you can see, the, the Airfix one is all molded in. Um, and the downside to that is obviously um, the actual molding itself. Um, you can't see through it. So, so that's going to be a bit of a shame. Um, so that's going to make a massive difference um, as you can see the two parts there together he says look up the camera make sure so yeah the two parts there together they are very very different in the way they look and even to the point i would suggest that the, the actual design is different as well because the one in the gecko is quite flat uh, and the one in the airfix kit is quite rounded so hmm that's an interesting difference see how that looks when it builds up so going back to sprue B, um, yeah, absolutely lovely. Again, nice and crisp, no issues or problems with flash or anything like that, no mist molds. All looking absolutely lovely. Um, and as you can see, nicely laid out, nice and easy to find all the bits you need. So that was sprue B. So next we move on to sprue C. So sprue C has got our engine detail in, our radiators, some of our um, chassis and exhaust etc again all looking nice and crisp our springs have got some nice indentations there uh, for so you can pick that out with a nice wash to get the to make sure the springs sing for what of a better phrase um, yeah everything was looking good lots of parts there i'm noticing for the engine as we saw in the instructions so lots and lots of um, goodies that you can do with that uh, and I can already see the potential for adding wiring and all that sort of stuff. So you could really go to town with it. Um, really, really put some detail in there. So yeah, lots of lots of um, so lots of detailing abilities there. You can add. Um, you could go really mad with it. Shame in a way that the Airfix didn't put an engine. I mean, obviously you've got the sump of the engine, um, but um, yeah. Obviously a decision made commercially as to whether it was uh, worth the extra parts. I think it would have been personally, but Gecko got it right. So well done Gecko, looking really good. That was Sprue C. So next we are on to Sprue BA. 
Now this has got our internal uh, wall for our cab between the cab and the rear and lots of other goodies. So th the floor here to the cab, again, recessed, recessed grooves there for our flooring. Uh, that'll come out nicely, pick a nice wash up, etc. Um, and we've got some shovels and other bits and pieces. Uh, turn it over quickly, and as you can see, the internal door, very nice, uh, nice um, open slats, etc. And again, no sprue, no flash or any issues like that whatsoever. Um, we've got our gear sticks all there. Uh, I think they're gear sticks. Uh, yeah, we've got all, all, the, all the elements there that look really cool, really crisp. So that was sprue BA. So next up is two sprues that are identical. This is sprue BD. And on here we have our weapons. Very crisply molded, look very cool. So a nice surface texture there on the padding. So that will that will come out really nice with some washes and bits and pieces. And uh, yeah, that's all looking really, really fine. Uh, mirror there. So that was Sprue BD. So this is Sprue BC. And we've got our boxes here, or lids to our boxes. Uh, the seat to our driver, driver's seat, and the other part of our driver's seat. Yeah, all nice and crisp. What detail there is on there is really, really well done. Um, but yeah, lots of bits and pieces there. That was Sprue BC. So as we talked about a little while ago, this is Sprue B DA. Um, and as I said to you before, this is, has the the tyre section on it with our hubs and the walls of our tyres and uh, I'm going to make sure that you can get hopefully you're looking at a picture right now of the writing on the wall of the tyres there very very nicely done and really really crisp as well so that will come out really really well on the rest of the sprue there are uh, lots of other bits and pieces going on uh, we've got our lights here the outsides of our lights uh, and the um, and the detail is superb there are no issues or problems this is obviously a fuel tank of some description nice this nice um nicely molded so there's some proper detail raised detail on that to pick out really really nice that was sprue da this is sprue db just a few bits and pieces on there um again all nicely done the exhaust is done you've even got um a little bit of raised detail there of the bracket that holds the um holds the exhaust so that's nice um this is a bit of the of the wall um the outside wall so the cab side if you like driver side oh no sorry push the passenger side where the spare wheel will fit into that hole anyway um yeah all nicely done and the detail is very crisp and lovely and again, no issues at all with the way it's been moulded. One thing I have noticed, as I've looked through all the sprues, the um, the gate here, the, diff the between the parts, nice nice amount of room for you to cut off with plenty to spare and then trim back. Really, really thought about how you how the modeler's going to deal with it. So there we go. That was sprue DB. So you've got two sprues here. This is sprue D. And these are your water cans and fuel cans. Um, nice surface detail on the um, fuel cans. Obviously, they go together in two pieces, or three pieces, sorry. And our water cans, um, I'm just looking to see if there's anything written on them. There's not, they're nice and plain, it's fine. Um, but the, the detail at the top, which is mainly the part you're gonna see, to be honest, um, is nice and crisp, nicely done. So there's two of those, uh, and that was Sprue D. Now Sprue F, there are four of these, and they are clearly exactly what they look like. They are the stretchers. So you've got two options. You've got the, the folded up stretcher or the out, ready for a patient. And what I like about this is the nice indentations in there, so it's not flat. Obviously, this would be a canvas, um, and it wouldn't be um, obviously quite well used. It's going to um, have some indentations and stuff on, and that's represented there. You've got your folded up blanket, really nice touch, and a little pillow as well. Um, and even on the pillow, I don't know if you can pick that up, but there's a nice little 
bit of detail on there as well. So really, really, really nice. Um, I love those um, and there are four of those. And this was Sprue F. So our last lot of sprues is the figure. So um, I just want to make this clear that uh, I got all excited because I thought it was um, a figure of the queen. Um, but obviously through licensing and all that sort of thing, it is just a female um, volunteer. Um, now, you can make your mind up whether you think it looks like the queen or not, um, but there you go. It's, it's, it really is just a female figure. So the figure comes in several parts, obviously the main body and the legs, the skirt, the arms, uh, which there are a different option. There's one there holding some gloves and one not or the one's not really. You've got the cap and the face. Now the one thing in which I will pick up on here is there is a little bit of cleanup that's required or quite a bit of cleanup required on this mold, which is a bit of a shame uh, considering the rest are not like that. Um, but you know, it's nothing that a modeler can't fix. So yeah, nice little figure there. Uh, make a nice addition to our build. Obviously with that as well, you have got numerous, and I mean numerous, sets of uh, equipment in which you can <laughs> lay around the vehicle or um, add to some figures, etc. And to be honest, um, you know, you've got five helmets there. Um, yeah, I mean, how many, how many figures should have come with it or could have come with it? There's a pair of binoculars. Um, in a way, it's great that the female figure is there, but it seems a bit strange to have some odds and ends um, that you can't use with any figures. However, saying that, an ambulance is going to pick up a bit of bits and pieces from the clients in which it's dealt with. So, you know, I think it's a good touch. Don't get me wrong. I, nothing negative, And certainly, if nothing more, it's something to pop into your, um, your spares. Um, but again, with both of these sprues, uh, sprue G and um, F of the figure, um, as you can see here, like a lot of a lot of cleanup, or potentially a lot of cleanup. So yeah, but again, like I say, these things are not massive, and uh, it's not something to grumble about because at the end of the day, you get a figure with your ambulance, uh, and I love that. So that was the figure sprues. So last but no means least the clear parts. This is Sprue DC. Um, and as you can probably see, um, we have got the side skirts, oh, sorry, the side parts of our dri uh, the driver's cab. Um, and this is really well done in the fact that you can pick out the canvas on here. Hopefully I'll take a picture of this so you can see it better. Um, because I'm not sure that's being picked up or it is just, there you go. So you can see there, there is the difference in the clear part there that shows the canvas. Um, and that looks, that looks really, really good. And I even like the fact that there is some uh, effect, if you like, through the, the, the clear part, which shows that it is not glass, it is a, a plastic sort of thing. Hopefully the camera was picking that up. Really nice touch. The other thing in which I really like about it is obviously we've got the ability to have the, the window for the driver part open which you don't have on um, the FX kit. The plastic is clear as crystal clear. It is lovely, so can't complain with that at all. Um, but yes, very, very nice gecko. Um, although I have noticed on here, I have got scratch, unfortunately. I'm not quite sure how that's occurred, but I'm sure that'll be able to be buffed out with a bit of effort, if it bothers me that much, which I'll be honest, it doesn't really. But yeah, so that's something, and obviously we've got all our lenses here for our lights. Um, yeah, a lot going on on that part. And so just to compare, just to compare, this is the Airfix sprue, and this is the Gecko sprue. Um, a lot more parts on the Gecko than there is on the Airfix, uh, although the Airfix have managed to spread that out quite nicely. Um, so yeah, a lot going on. It sort of says it all, doesn't it, in the in the uh, the model itself so the two models are quite chalk and cheese let's be honest so there you go that was sprue dc the the clear parts so what do we think well i've got to be honest with you gecko have done an outstanding job on their um, kit 
loads and loads of parts really really well made the instructions are really well laid out love that um yeah what can i say nothing but positive about the gecko the airfix now this is what's going to be a bit com confrontational potentially with the viewers they are chalk and cheese and i think to be honest although we would just love airfix to have brought out something so highly detailed as gecko has I think Airfix have gone for a particular middle road with their their kit. That being, not an extreme amount of parts, not too detailed, but enough detail to, to please most people because they're going for a wider range of uh, model makers out there. The Gecko one is a little bit more um, insular, if you like, within the the community aiming towards to please the community and let's face it they are, they're going to please the community with that because it is um, phenomenally detailed and really well done so they are very much chalk and cheese i mentioned it earlier um do i think that that makes airfix's uh kit no good absolutely not i think the airfix kit is is sublime and i've seen it built up and and yeah i think it, it does the job ticks all the boxes uh or most of the boxes um, and is, is a wonderful model for, and great value, if I'm honest. However, with the pricing that the Gecko has come in at, it is only a very small amount of money difference to get a much more better detailed version of the ambulance. So it's really down to you, the modeler, as to what you want from your model. Do you want something in which has got PE and, and highly detailed because you want to open every nook and cranny of the ambulance? Or do you want a representation on your build uh, or your diorama, shall we say, um, that isn't, isn't so fussy? Um, Airfix would be your choice. So I think it's really great that two companies are going head to head. I think that it's really good that they've actually thought about it potentially and gone for slightly different elements of the market. Which one would I recommend you to buy? Well, as I say, it's down to you. It's down to what you like from a model. If you want something highly detailed, the Gecko kit is the one, definitely. If you want one that's not as fussy, um, but gives you a good representation, the Airfix is the one to go for. If you are in between both of those things, not highly fussed if it's over, uh, there's loads of parts and photo etch not too worried um, so the middle part of the market I would recommend the gecko just purely because the detail is there and it may inspire you to do a little bit more than you normally would to your model and it's great value like I said in the UK it's about five six pounds difference I think that price is changing I think they did bring out the, the um, bring it out to market as a special offer um, so this kit may be, because this is limited edition, remember, limited edition boxing, um, the next ones coming out may not have the figure um, and they will be slightly more expensive. So the market's telling me that it's going to be around about the £45, £46, uh, whereas obviously your Airfix version is around the £35, so sort of almost the £10 difference. Which to be honest with the amount of sprue that you've got in the Gecko still makes it great value. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that comparison. I haven't gone too deep into it because, um, you know, there are plenty of videos out there going into the finer detail. I really am looking forward to making these kits. It's a subject matter in which I absolutely love. Um, and I'm really looking forward to doing the Airfix. And I'm really looking forward to doing this one because I have a plan in mind which will mean the extra detail will need be needed because it's going into a diorama that will be highly detailed. Whereas this one, is not um, now I want to make it clear that I have not been paid by Gecko or Airfix to do these comparisons or these uh, inbox reviews I am solely myself there is a link in the in the in description below for Airfix if you want to go and look on their site use that click and we do get a small amount of money if you make a purchase to the channel which makes no difference to you in what you cost to you but Airfix, give us a, a little cursory thank you for advertising that link and the ability for you to make that purchase easily. There is also a link to the sprue box where you can find the Gecko's model, um, which is linked to me. 
Um, I'm not paid by myself to promote this, but the sprue box is linked to myself. Um, and I'm more than happy for you to click on that, which will take you directly to um, the page where this has been advertised and sold. So from the Airfix and Gecko's Austin K2 ambulance, the bench and myself, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.